Jake, unbelievable comeback. How would you describe the thrill of providing that walk-off victory for your new team? Yeah, I mean, it, it started with uh, Yuli. Um, <laughs> no, it started with Yuli uh, hitting that double and, um, you know. Yeah, but, uh, you know, since I've uh, been here, I've been talking about how resilient this group is. And, uh, you know, we saw it firsthand here. And, uh, you know, it's just next man up and then keep, keep going. When could you feel the momentum start to shift in that ninth inning? Yeah, I mean, right when Yoli hit that double, you know, I, I, I think we, me and Joey Wendell looked at each other and were like, hey, something's brewing here. Um, you know, so let's just, just keep working and uh, see what can happen. You talked about the importance of that off day, what it meant to you to maybe hit the reset button a little bit. Then in this series against the Yankees, seven hits. How did you feel overall in this series? Yeah, I felt, felt great. Um, you know, I felt like I was controlling the zone really well, uh, controlling my movements. And, uh, you know, my, my wife and uh, Brooks. Hey, when you deliver a walk-off win, you don't just get one Gatorade bath, you get Oh my God! I'm so <laughs> oh. totally worth it, though, right? Oh, every time. <laughs> and of course, it's always jazz. One last question for you: There are a lot of people in this ballpark, a lot of fans in the stands, a lot of Marlins fans here in this stand. You look around and you see them. What do you want to let them know about the energy they brought to you and the way that you were able to feed off of them in this comeback? Yeah, it was electric, you know. Um, fans here are just going crazy, and, uh, you know, we feel that in the, in the box, on the mound, in the field. So, uh, you know, let's keep it going and keep that energy going. Welcome to Miami, Jake Berger. Guys, back up to you. Wow. What a win. What a game. Marlins take two out of three from the Yankees. A crucial series. They all are at this point of the season. Uh, Skip, what just happened? How would you describe that comeback and what the guys were able to just do? I think Berger and Bell are just part of the club now. Um, we've had a, some crazy walk-off ninth inning wins, come from behind wins all year. And... Um, these guys don't stop believing. I, it's just a, it's a thing in that clubhouse. It's a thing in the dugout. Um, the guys that we acquired, they believe in it. They, uh, there's just no, no stop. We did that against some really good arms too. It wasn't just some guys that, just some random bullpen arms. I mean, those two back end guys are, are real dudes. And uh, the fact that they did that um, with Yuli and. You know, Bell obviously beating out that throw, running hard down the line, and I thought the De La Cruz at bat was excellent, passing the baton. You want to be the hero sometimes in that at bat, um, and you know you want to be the guy. And for him to not expand and and pass the baton, something that uh, Brownie talks about all the time, um, and give it to Berger, and for Berger to to do that, uh, I mean, that was a that was an unbelievable win, and um, just super super proud of those guys. You mentioned that we, I mean, we've obviously seen the comeback magic throughout the course of the season. When could you start to feel in that bottom of the ninth when you guys were building that inning that, okay, we, we've got a shot? Probably that bell at bat is probably when, you know, because we've seen, you know, when Hicks threw it away at the, the Cardinal game and then that happened and you're kind of like, again, when you do it, earlier in the season you believe you can do it again and that's what's happening is you know, once we get something going um do i wish we wouldn't always wait to the ninth yeah that'd be awesome um but uh but a win's a win and i'll take the win we'll take the win but once bell once that happened with bell and he threw it away um you knew Arias was going to do something uh and uh he did obviously and a uh, huge trip i mean I could go on and on about every one of those guys in the lineup. Fortez, good at bat against a tough left, uh, a, a tough sinker ball in Holmes. And um, again, I just, uh, you know, I could I could sit here forever talking about these guys. It's good for both those guys, Bell and Berger. You know, I think they've reached base in every, except for like one game. I think every game that they've played so far. Just can you talk a little bit more about just what they've brought to kind of and, and what they've helped to get this team kind of going again after that rough patch after the break. Uh, I mean, they're hitting the ball as hard as anybody in the league, uh, first and foremost. And the the bell at bats are, 
if he doesn't get a hit, he, at least he's taking a really good at bat and he's walking as well. I mean, he's taking really good at bats. Um, even if he doesn't make outs, he may, he's may, or get hits, he's making the guy work out there. Berger's just, he consistently takes really good at bats. He's driving the ball all over the ballpark, uh, you know, right center, center, down the line of left uh, with authority. I mean, his outs are 113, his line drives are 113. I mean, he's he's crushing the ball. His defense is never talked about. Um, I guess that's a good thing. We know when you're, you don't talk about your defense. Um, but I just, uh, what they brought is like uh, some leadership, some new energy, um, the work ethic, uh, all that, I mean, they again, they check every. I'm not a big like check the box guy, but th when you're thinking about like the guy that you're trying to acquire to get yourself to the playoffs and then also bring into a, a culture where you're trying to build a, like a winning, sustainable culture from from not just this year, but for the next couple of years. These guys are those guys. Those are the guys that you want to put inside that clubhouse. And uh, we're, I'm grateful that uh, our front office acquired those two. And a lot of wild games, you mentioned it, but just where does this one in terms of whether it's improbable or just, you know, at some point you guys had kind of switched out guys earlier in the game, Cole started it, you know, like just... Word. Yeah, well, we switched out guys to get guys, to get offense. <laughs> so it's not like we just were giving up. We were trying. We were continuing to play the game. Um, yeah, Garrett is. I mean, th that stuff is crazy good. Um, Ninety-seven top of the zone, throwing 100 miles an hour. Some pitches um, had his cutter working, which you know we saw uh, the previous game uh, against the White Sox that he was using a little bit more. But until you get in the box, you don't realize how good it is. Um, yeah, I mean he's one of the best pitchers in the game and. Um, but for us to get to the bullpen, um, I, I guess what you're asking, when did I? Well, I mean, like, you know, Yuri didn't have his best stuff. You give up like five steals, some ugly plate, you know, for. There's no game. doubt. So, yeah, let's get, let's go to that real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got exposed today by a good team. And um, we haven't been exposed like that in a while, and they just expose stuff that we have to clean up. Um, and if we want to get to where we want to get to, especially the teams we're about to play, that, that, team is really well coached and um and they expose they expose weaknesses and we got exposed again we haven't been exposed in a while especially the second half um as far as the stolen bases are concerned um that was uh that wasn't good um and so the messaging that falls on me that falls on uh you know the the messaging and, and you know for the group that we got to clean that up because those guys scored uh, easy, those are easy runs. We don't put our we put ourselves in that position, unfortunately. Um, so we do have to clean that up. The Yuri stuff, I um, I just think there's just a couple balls in the middle of the plate that he probably wanted back. Um, the Stanton, you know, kind of uh, slider that just kind of sat there, um, three two, and um, you know the the homer was just kind of middle of the plate. So I I just think that there's just some location stuff. He's still building back. Um, so you have to kind of think about him also of like. Not, I don't want people to think that he's just going to be who he was right when he comes back uh, when he left. Um, he's still going to it's going to take a couple starts before you see him, and um, it's also not fair because he was on a roll when he when he was uh, shut down. So um, you know it's going to take some time for him to to get back to where he is, and um, everything is still there. The characteristics, all of that is still there. So you know I'm I'm not worried about him it's one thing if it was you know he's throwing 90 miles an hour but he's still throwing 100 miles an hour so he's going to be fine but the base running stuff from our bullpen you know we got to clean up puck and lopez were outstanding today um and kept us where we i didn't think you know kept us where we want to be at seven to two or three whatever it was so um but yeah it was uh that stuff we got to clean up along those same lines uh, early on in the game you took a trip out the mound to talk to to yuri was it about those same things about the base running and uh um, just I thought I saw some stuff that um, you know that maybe they were looking at knowing what pitch was coming so I just wanted to make sure we were cleaning some stuff up and um, identified we saw some stuff from the dugout they're really good at it over there um, so I didn't want to wait till you know a three spot or something happened so I just go and address it I don't I don't wait you mentioned that <clears throat> coming back early in the year serves as a confidence boost you know for situations like this one but a win like this one, how valuable is at this point um, going forward, knowing that 
yes, it, it still can be possible to come back after those. Well, we've come back the whole year. We've had these we've had these comebacks all year long. I think last road trip shows you you know what kind of that's our brand of baseball. I've said that in Cincinnati shows you like you know we we are still that team. We haven't done it in a while. Um, you know we hit kind of a, a losing uh, you know a skid or whatever you want to call it, but we're still that team that has enough firepower in that lineup to make comebacks. And our bullpen is really good still. Keep us in the game. Let them come back. And they did that in Cincinnati. They did it again here today um, against a really good team. Cincinnati's a really good team as well. Um, so again, like I, winning a series, this series was big, especially in front of that huge crowd. And the whole weekend to win a series um, with a hundred thousand fans was was really important for for us. Is there anything that you want to take from this series that you saw that the team did well ahead of the series against another good team, obviously starting tomorrow in Houston? What do I take like, away from it? Like positives that you wish the team would further implement in that upcoming series against another very good team. I uh, thought we were better with runners in scoring position, especially in that last inning. Um, not so much the innings before that, but um, I, I think that to show like that those are real high leverage pressure situations. So there, you shouldn't have pressure on yourself when you're in the fourth and fifth inning to drive a guy in. Just take your at bat, pass the baton like Dela did today. Um, so I, that's the takeaway: is they were. Don't give away at bats. Um, don't give in when you're pitching uh, to some big name hitters or whatever the name is on their back, because uh, you're going to start seeing those names when you face them. And I think that you know these guys are, know who they are. They believe who they are. They believe they can beat good teams. Um, and moving forward, that that was a big win in Cincinnati the last day. And I think we just are building that momentum. Um, and hopefully, we can continue at this homestand. Take us through what were you trying to do in that at bat, and just the emotion of having your first walk-off hit for a, as a Marlin. Yeah, yeah. The uh, you know, the, the incredible job by you know everybody through the lineup. You know, um, Yoli starting that that whole thing off with a double off the wall to right center, and um, you know, me and Jazz were just talking about you know it never feels like we're out of it. You know, it doesn't matter what the score is. Um, so. Um, but yeah, stepped up to the plate and, you know, thinking sack fly, just get something up. And, um, you know, fortunately, I, I got something up and I uh, was able to drive it to left field. Yeah, the, the guys in this clubhouse have been awesome to us, you know. Um, I've been talking about, you know, at. Um, Literally since minute one, you know, stepping stepping into this clubhouse, I felt like I was a part of the team. Um, you know, it's uh, kind of get emotional talking about that, you know, because it's uh, it's hard to find a group of guys like that. So, um, and then you got Skip, who's been awesome, um, you know, and uh, I was texting me on, on the flight when I first got traded, just saying, hey, like, let's go, we got some work to do. Um, so, you know, he's been a great motivator, and um, you know, just everybody throughout the entire organization, and then um, also, you know, the fans have made my family feel really comfortable and, um, you know, really welcomed. This goes without saying, but the difference of you know, only taking one of three to taking two of three and then as, you know, going into another tough series tomorrow against Houston. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, obviously we'd like to win the uh, first game of the series but, and not have to win the last two, but, um, you know, anyway, anyway works and um, we know that winning series is, uh, you know, vital to us right now. So, um, you know, anyway, you can get two of three, um, you know, you're, you're doing the right stuff. So, um, you know, uh, obviously uh, celebrate this for maybe an hour or two more. And then, um, you know, we got Houston, a uh, tough matchup coming in. So, you know, focus on them. Josh, I'll start with the same question that I asked Skip. Uh, when did you start to feel the momentum shift in that ninth inning and feel like you guys really come back to this? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it uh, kind of feels like a blur now. I mean, obviously, uh, Yuli had the, the great at bat ball that I thought was gone off the bat um he gets a second base and you know, all it takes is a big hit like we were talking before you know spark the the dugout a little bit I know we were down big but one big hit and then that belief starts to trickle in um and then at bat after a bat quality at bats um you know putting good wood on the ball and burger coming in clutch at the end that was that was a lot of fun to watch Skip mentioned also just the spark the energy, the fresh energy, especially at this time of the year that, that you've provided and, and Jake has provided, you know, what do you think you guys have 
done, maybe just given that clubhouse a little bit of a lift when they needed it, especially because you've been able to produce results on the field as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just trying to make the most of this opportunity. Um, you know, I can I can speak for myself. Um, you know, I've admired this team from afar for, for years and just the opportunity to play, you know, in Miami. Um, you know, the, the fan base is incredible. Um, and, you know, just for just for Jake, you know, coming from a team that, you know, wasn't playing very well um, and just have an opportunity for a playoff push here. You, you get to the clubhouse and you're looking around and there's a lot of belief already. Um, the team was was so good already. Um, and, you know, they embraced us with open arms. Um, they were happy for, for us, you know, being able to help them push forward as the course of the season goes on. And we're happy to, to come in clutch when, when the team needs us. Sometimes it's like Tough transition we'll switch teams in the season, but once you made it such a smooth one for you, the past couple of years. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I think first and foremost, I, I said it before. Uh, you know, the first text that I got when I got traded was from Stallings. Um, you know, I, I didn't get drafted with him, but from the Florida State League on, we got called up together, um, did the Pirates together. Um, you know, uh, I got traded in in 21, and I think he signed with the Marlins in 21 or 22. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I've known that cat for forever. So just to share the clubhouse with him and, you know, have someone that I know um, helped me a ton. Um, and then, you know, first and foremost, the, the coaching staff here is day one, they got their hands on me, um, changed up some drills. Um, and, you know, I, I feel really comfortable in the box and, you know, I'm excited to see some results. Question for you, I guess, for your at bat in the ninth inning, what were you trying to do? What was going through your head as, you know, the balls put in play in this? And then also just when's the last time you ran that much in a game? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm telling the guys, I'm like, can we hit a homer one time or what? Um, no, but... Uh, you know, I, I actually uh, grew up playing with, with Clay, too, throughout the minor league. So I know that he's got a plus sinker. Um, I, I try to get off the dish a little bit and give myself some room. Uh, got to that 2-0 count and probably could have taken that pitch. Um, but, you know, it started in my go zone, and it ran a lot more than I thought it would. I uh, was able to eat him up um, and just bust my tail down at first base, uh, force an, an error and throw and, you know, allow Louis to do what he does. Um, Cat's incredible. He's got, you know, the most cold blood probably in the league um so um he kept us going and you know one hit away after that it was it was really fun to witness how would you describe the read that you got on on the arise triple it was just go i mean as soon as it got past first base i was like okay here we go again and you know obviously uh the judge is in the outfield so you know he's got a plus plus arm yeah. um but we, we know how big this field is too so i, I knew that there might be a chance um for me to score and you know, once I saw um, that I was getting waved home, uh, you know, it was just head down, you know, full tilt, uh, as much as I, I could give at that point. So uh, it's definitely fun to score there. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, the, the, the saying in there is big heart team. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the score is. Um, we're going to fight for one another. Um, just, just one at bat at a time, one pitch at a time. And I know it's been, you know, just, you know, probably less than 10 games now or whatever. It's been how long I've been here. But I've had a, a few come from behind wins. And, and when you have that belief in the in the squad that it doesn't matter when, you know, a starter gives up runs, um, they got to make 27 outs and, you know, start believing that we're the best team in the league. We can start playing like it. Um, and hopefully there's a lot more to come. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, Luis, obviously a huge win and a huge triple by you in the ninth inning. Uh, what were you able to take away from the at-bats before you, uh, from the hits, the way that guys were able to draw walks? I just put my mind a lot of good things, and then I say, if I got the chance to hit there, I want to do something good for my teammates, and then I did it. I hit the ball to the line, and then I got triple, and then I tied the game. At what point did you know in that ninth inning, okay, we're going to be able to come back in this one like we've done before because that's something you guys have done throughout the course of the season? Yeah, especially when we fade that pitcher. He's, he's nasty. That pitcher is nasty, and then we just go there and try to do the little things. Julie starting with the double, and then when we score the run, I say, okay, I got my chance, I got my time, and then he hang a, a sinker inside, 97. It's not easy pitch. But I use my hands and uh, I get my, my triple and tie the game. What sort of impact have Berger and Bell had since joining the team? Amazing guys. Amazing. They compete. They compete and I love those guys. When they come here, they just put uh, the world together. 
we just go out there and enjoy the game, and then that's what they do. They just come here and play hard. A lot of crazy wins this season. Where would this one rank for you? Hmm. This is another game for me. It's another game because uh, we just come here and play hard, and then I want to say thanks, God, for this, for this game.